Back National Selfie Day, and we're going to turn you into an expert with some tips from a pro. Photographer Jessica McIntosh is here now with some of the do's and don'ts for taking the perfect selfie. We don't always get it right, do we? We don't, but there's some key tips that we can do to help you, you know, get a good, strong selfie game. Okay. okay. All right. We're up in the <laughs> selfie game. First thing is lighting. Lighting. It's so important. So we're in a beautiful studio with fabulous lighting right now. But when you're at home, you want to make sure that you're looking for window light, okay. open shade. You want to avoid harsh light or really dark shadowy places. So I'm going to show you guys an example now of what it looks like. I want to have some nice beautiful light. So that looks really great. No dark shadows. Looks if good. I rotate though and I turn my back to the light, you'll notice I get all these dark shadows oh, under yeah. my eyes. And so you can kind of see a nice little before and after. We'll show you. Nice. How do you achieve that outside? Well, you want to look for open shade. So you don't want to put yourself right in direct sunlight because then you're kind of squinty or maybe you're, um, uh, you have like harsh shadows under your eyes. So look for some shade trees. Um, look for buildings that can give you shade. And so just avoid putting yourself in that super bright, harsh, unflattering light. Okay. All right. Next tip. Next tip is going to be making sure that you know your angles. Okay. So when we go for the selfie, most people will typically raise their camera up um, pretty high, and we like that because it naturally brings um, all of this looking nice and slim. Right. Um, and we get kind of give us a natural slim look. Um, however, the higher up you go, sometimes let me take an example. It doesn't look so great. You want to work on your particular angle. Some people up high looks, looks better. Yeah, it looks better. And so you maybe you have larger eyes or a bigger forehead, a more narrow chin. And the higher up you go, you're going to accentuate those things. So you want to accentuate what looks best for you. Sure. So practice. Work around. Kind of a, a little high up is good, but you want to come down bringing that so that it looks a little bit more natural for your face shape. All right. How do you get the big arm out of the picture? Oh, man. So you need to have a good, um, you want to make sure that you're using your outside arm, number one, for whatever your angle is. And then you just want to bend that elbow. The higher the higher up you go, the more likely you are to see the arm. Okay. So I'll show you one there. Or if you keep it down just a little bit lower, bend that elbow out, you have a nice yeah, look there. And you can kind of see the difference between showing that arm off and you kind of get some unwanted <laughs> Get everybody looking good in the same picture. So you need your friend with the longest arm. You want them to be on the outside so that they can extend it really high up and get everybody in for some fun. And so you want to also ask your friend, do you have a side? You can be the hero for the day and give them their side. I so have a side. Meryl has a side. I have a better side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so have fun. Get close together. Get that arm out and press the photo button looking straight at okay. the camera. Nice. I like how that looks. Yes. Okay. Uh, what other tips do we need to know about in terms of, like, some people look at the camera. Yes, yeah, some people look directly into the, the camera. Which is up at the top. Up at the top, yeah. So you actually want to look more into um, yourself. Like, when you're looking at yourself on camera, you want to make sure that you're looking at yourself when you're taking the photo and not into the camera because you're actually going to look like you're looking into outer space or way off or <laughs> into the distance somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're looking at yourself, and that just helps you to know what angle you're working and looking really good there. Definitely. Um, and then also... A fun How about backgrounds? Tip. Oh man, you so want to watch out for the background. If you're taking the um, famous bathroom selfie and maybe you left the toilet seat open or the shower curtain open <laughs> yeah. and you don't want to show off all your business, so um, watch your background. Make sure you have a nice clean space to take your picture in. I love it. Some great ideas. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. We're going to have fun on National Selfie Day today. If you need a pro to take your photos, here's your girl right here. You can find Jessica's information online at jessicamackintosh.net.